Hi. One of the old time naturopathic uh, therapies actually was uh, begun many, many decades ago in, in Europe, but was picked up here by a, a couple of uh, naturopathic doctors. Uh, Dr. Carroll was one of them. Uh, is uh, lymphatic, well, he called it constitutional hydrotherapy, but uh, I've I've chosen to use the term lymphatic hydrotherapy, even though it does affect many other other organs in the body. But it's a very simple yet very effective uh, therapy for helping to drain the lymphatic system, as well as a few other things. I'll explain in just a second. Lymphatic lymphatic system is all of the liquid that is outside of the bloodstream. So uh, in the bloodstream we have certain, we have white blood cells, red blood cells, other, other hormones, other sort of, let's call them chemicals in the bloodstream. Some of which are, are coupled to carriers, protein carriers, and they're, they're too large to leave the bloodstream and get into the lymphatic system. Some hormones are uncoupled, what are called free forms, like the free thyroid hormone T4. Because it's unattached from a protein, it can leave the bloodstream. Many, many toxins in the bloodstream also can leave and go into this fluid, into the lymphatic system. This lymphatic system is what is designed to deliver nutrients to cells, is designed to deliver hormones to cells. So it's like the, the fluid that bathes all the cells and tissues in our body. But these, these waste products, these uh, toxic residues, they also get into the lymphatic system. Ideally, what's supposed to happen is that lymph fluid should be like a river, sort of flowing downstream through the, through the rocks and over the waterfall. And finally, it's drained back into um, a couple of um, sites, uh, back into the bloodstream. And once again, they're, they're back in the blood and hopefully will be filtered by the liver and excreted through the kidneys, etc. But sometimes these residues become stuck in the um, in this lymph fluid and are not drained back into the bloodstream and sometimes people have very slow lymphatic drainage especially people that are a bit overweight or people that don't get much activity in their lives the lymphatic system is partly moved by movement or exercise or motion when we're lying down at to when we're lying down at night to sleep, we're in a prone position. It's very easy for that river to kind of run towards these drainage sites back into the bloodstream. Um, so th what happens, I, I think, in part with chronic illness is that the, the body's burden of these chemicals, the, that river becomes blocked like a like a beaver dam is placed in it, and this swamp becomes, becomes swampy and begins to collect all of these uh, residues, and the, the function of the cells begins to decline because of, the, of what is in their surroundings, this, this uh, uh, sort of concentrated level of toxins in the, in the, in the dam, in the swamp. So lymphatic, uh, lymphatic drainage is very, very important. It's something also that, that started, I believe, in Germany, uh, probably about 50 or 60 years ago. So again, we're using hot and cold compresses in what's called a sine wave machine, which is a very gentle electrical stimulation that helps push the lymph fluid out its normal tributaries and draining back into the, the bloodstream again. Um, I went to visit with one of Dr. Carroll's uh, uh, students, Dr. Harold Dick, and spent about four days with him and received the treatments from, from his um, employee and saw many of, uh, of his clients and was very impressed. That's pretty much all he did. He was a licensed physician, but he did primary lymphatic or constitutional hydrotherapy, made a few alterations with their, with their diet, but that's pretty much all he did. Pe you know, people would call him on the phone, I want to come see you, how long is it going to be? He said, I have no idea how long it's going to take you to detoxify. And he had this technique of listening to the heart for certain rhythms that he would know, okay, this person is, is fine now because of how the, the rhythm of the heart was going. 
So I, that was one of the times in my life I was in, in medical school then I came back and I went another student came back and we continued the, the hydrotherapy um, in, our, in the clinic there at the school and it was really a wonderful, wonderful time. It's great energy and my mind was really clear. The stress didn't seem to affect me that much. So it's a simple treatment, lasts about 45 or 50 minutes. Um, I, I've trained two other people in my clinic to follow the same protocol as uh, I learned from Dr. Dick. Um, and um, I think it's, I, if I had to choose, well, it's hard time choosing two, uh, one thing, but I would say this, the saunas for sure and also lymphatic hydrotherapy are the two most important, besides nutrition, of course, two most important purification therapies because if we can, if we, it's almost like this, this internal wisdom, this innate physician is having to sort of juggle all these balls and we throw it, you know, it's another toxin in the system. We throw some stress and, you know, something happens and I, I, I is trying to juggle all these balls and it's faltering and we get tired and we get irritable and all these things. If we can just kind of grab a few of those balls, saunas and some lymphatic hydrotherapy and Oh, phew, okay, I can feel much more relaxed now. I can deal with a few stresses in my life. I don't feel overwhelmed. So the purification, I, I believe it is the cornerstone. It, it is the sort of the source of helping people to recover their health and to once again experience the vitality that they feel like they've lost. Just a matter of it's hidden with them. We just have to Kind of pull away the the veils of these toxins and nourish the body and that vitality will start to come to the surface again and bubble to the surface and in the clear stream and the clear lake and getting rid of the swamp all right thank you